Hello, this is Shiba Siddiq and welcome to my channel. Today we'll learn how to add conditional fields in uh, contact form 7. Before you start, if you have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe by clicking on the red button below. Also be sure to hit the bell icon for the notifications of the latest videos. So after this, let's start. First we go to the plugins tab in the admin panel. I have already installed the contact form 7 plugin. Now let's create a contact form. In the contact form 7, I have already a default form which creates automatically when you install the plugin. And its name is contact form 1 and I will use this one now I will go to the pages pages tab and I'm gonna create a page now I have already created a one page an edit button here I will add a contact form element now you can see the drop down showing the contact forms list but we have only one I, I will choose this one and click on the save changes button now update the button and if you are creating new page then you will click on the publish button for first time save I am using WP Bakery Builder but page builder is not compulsory you can do it with short code without any page builder. Now page is saved and I'm gonna visit the page by clicking on the link below. Now you can see the form which I added in the page. And here are some fields in the contact form. In subject message I want to add the condition in this form let's make an example if we are service provider company and we have different packages under the packages and have some plans like we have two packages personal and business and we have some plans under the packages so how we can sort out this problem for this we have a plugin let's go to the plugin tab again And this plugin is a contact uh, form 7 conditional fields and this is the condition uh, extension of the contact form 7 we install and activate the plugin and now I'm gonna edit the contact form after the activation of the contact form 7 extension uh, conditional fields plugin I have to add some packages and I have some plans to under the packages let's go to the contact form edit page first I will first I will add without conditions and create a label Put a name packages. And also, this uh, I will select the radio button. Personal packages and after this, I will use the second one of business packages. After this, now we click on the insert tag button. So, packages fields 
packaging field actually is created now we'll create another one and we have uh, plans Cotton one plan. So we have some options. Actually, these are plans of uh, different packages. So the option one is a limited with uh, twenty dollar. The option two is unlimited with thirty five dollar. The option three is again. The limited with forty five dollar option is the option four is the unlimited with sixty five dollar. Now we'll filter these options with packages name. First our first two options Business. And click on insert type button. Click on save button and let's check after refresh the page. Refresh. Now you can see here it's showing packages. Mm -hmm. And also after this these are packages and after this you can see in into the plans drop down. Showing all plans without filter, without condition, but I want to filter this and I want to sort out this issue because this will create some confusions so uh, let's check I, I've chosen uh, the package personal package but selected the business one so this will create some confusions so I will use the conditional fields for this let's make some conditional groups first group is personal plans the name of the group is personal plan click after this and click on the insert button No, after this, uh, I will create the second one is for business plans. So you can see we have created, and now we'll keep the personal plans and remove the business plans in the personal plans group. And, and do it opposite with the business plans group in the personal plans we have only personal plan and in the business plan group we have only personal and business plans so now after this Save this plan and I'm gonna visit the page. Let's see after refresh. So you can see after the 
refresh page the packages are showing but where are the plans plans are not showing because we didn't set the option in conditional field text now personal plan will be visible when package is equal to personal package and same as with the business plan see personal plan show one personal packages and up and when i choose a business package then must be shown in the then must be shown business plan so we can save button i already set the condition These are saved now, and then go to the page and refresh. Now I have chosen personal, and now you can see we are showing only we are showing only related to personal. And if I will select business package, and then now you can see only visible business plans. So like this way we can make. conditions and then then form will can uh, work according to the conditions and that's all for now in this video and please do like and share and if you have not subscribed yet please do subscribe by clicking on the red button below and also be sure to hit the bell icon for the notifications of the latest videos and thanks for watching this video please keep support and see you in the next video